today we're celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Larchmont Arts Festival. It started several years ago as a small event with only about 10 artists and today we have over 70 artists here in Constitution Park. I think it's fantastic. It's amazing how many artistic people in, in lots of different genres there are just in this little area. It's, it's, it's pretty impressive. Well, I'm an engineer by training, so but this hobby helps me to release stress and then, you know, combine my engineering and art together to make it functional and also beautiful. This is really a grassroots arts festival. It's not juried, so uh, we welcome any applicants as long as they make their own art. Um, I do monoprints, like the one I'm holding. So basically, I take a jelly plate and I spread paint along the plate, and then I use a brayer, which is sort of like a rolling, uh, rolling machine, and then I put the paper down and I pull a print. Well, what I love is the live music with people and also just the setup. It's sort of like in the round, which I really like. It's not, um, you know, sort of like just table and table and table. There's really kind of working with the background and the whole space of the space, which is nice. We started when the park was actually a little rough. So now the artists really appreciate the beautiful uh, walkways. We also have musicians in the renovated stage with the gazebo. So we have musical acts that are performing throughout the day. And it's a nice way to see my art outside of my large mount studio, which is less than a mile from here, so it's very convenient. And I look forward to doing it next year as well. Just to get my name out there and let people see the uh, stuff that I'm proud of uh, having captured in my travels, and if I sell something, great. It takes a village to, to come together to create the Larchmont Arts Festival. A bunch of volunteers, we have the Larchmont Arts Festival Committee that all pitch in to help make this happen. The DPW and the support of the village of Larchmont and this beautiful weather.